The Germans were telling the British everything, never knowing anyone was listening. Hugh Alexander, a chess champion recruited to Bletchley, later described reading the decrypts. It was like playing chess when you could see your opponent's pieces, but he couldn't see yours. But the weight of that advantage was heavy. Joan Clark, one of the few female cryptanalysts working directly on Enigma, remembered breaking a message that detailed casualties from a bombing raid on London. The German report was precise, clinical. So many buildings destroyed. So many casualties estimated. The raid had happened the night before. She'd heard the bombs herself, distant thunder from Bletchley. Now she was reading the bomber crew's own assessment of the damage they'd caused. It was very strange, she said years later, reading the enemy's mail while they were trying to kill you. The real breakthrough came in stages through 1940 and 1941. More bombs, better cribs, captured code books from German weather ships and U-boats that gave settings for specific days. 